Hey guys, welcome to the Cup of Joe show. My name is Joe Jones and today I am out here in Glen Heights, Texas and we are going to be working on a deck that somebody started. Not only did they start and not finish, but they also did not do a very good job of it. So we're here to fix it. I got my, uh, me and my friend Justin here. He's working under me, under my uh, crew, con construction crew, Jones Framing. So follow me and stay tuned and let me show you what we got. This is a, one of the main problems I've seen. Uh, really anybody that is planning on coming back to finish the job would not get this post so close to the pool without first sticking this post up here and then scribing it and then cut it and then put it there. But this guy, he didn't even do that. He didn't measure anything to cut it first. He wants to make it harder where now we have to use a Sawzall and get as close as we can to this pool, above ground pool. Oh, me too. And it, it makes it really hard to try to get it, you know, where you're, you're not cutting into the pool. So that's what we're going to do now. And that came down really fast because I've already cut halfway through this whole thing. So we're going to just make it a little bit more smooth because it's kind of up and down. We want that to be completely flat. When we put these deck boards on, if this is higher, then that's going to hit and it's going to knock that deck board up way too high. Also, Another reason why he should have cut that first is because now you got all the sawdust going into the pool and nobody wants that. So here we got Justin. He's taking these 16 foot long deck boards and going ahead and setting them up on the deck. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to get up there and mark them all to cut them to the shape of the pool, the angle of the pool. It's like an octagon pool here. So we're working on yesterday. We started on this yesterday. As you can see, it's cut to the the angle to go around it real nice. Now let me say, uh, this is the deck that I didn't build any of this stuff here on the bottom. <clears throat> I didn't do any of the post any of the framing on underneath um, as you can see a lot of these posts are very crooked the guy didn't level anything that's barely even you know sitting on the block other thing is like stuff like this we're gonna have to go back and reinforce all of this stuff here his joist I mean some of them are so bad it's just very unprofessional I mean you got big gaps here and uh, crooked boards, you know, as you can see, that's got a gaff in it. And it's got one nail that's barely holding. He barely shot it through the side here. And these particular people have uh, grandkids that's going to be playing up on this deck. So we can't have anyone coming up on this deck where there's nails that are, you know, only one nail is in and one nail missed. And, I mean, as you can see right there, that... Big old gap there. Not sure if you can see that, guys, but there's a big gap right there on that joist. And uh, we're gonna fix that, but this is just completely unacceptable here. All three nails pretty much missed. And that tells me this guy just doesn't know what the heck he's doing and uh, very unprofessional. Also, guys, when you're trying to get this angle, um, there's a couple different ways. I mean, you can find the angle and just start scribing each one or you can go up under the deck run your board a little over top of this side of the pool and scribe the bottom right there then get down and cut it or you can do it this simpler way that i'm about to show you take your boards run them each one all the way to this edge hits the edge of the deck there you go i'm going to hand the camera over to my cameraman justin let me grab a pencil here What I'm going to show you a much faster, easier way than trying to find what angle you got. Take a board like this, 
run it all the way up against whatever you're trying to get the angle of. In this case, we're going to run it up against the perimeter of the pool and just make a scribe. Scribe it just like that. Make that mark. Now when I go back and cut all of these, all of these deck boards are going to slide right into place. Also come down here, let me show you this. If you're going to be doing it this way, you got to make sure that you have enough hanging over. Because once you cut that, it's going to take about six to eight inches off. And like this one here, we may not be able to do that because that's going to be really close. We got to make sure that this end of the board doesn't come in past the outside edge of the deck. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut that angle right now on these. Come over here, Justin. Come under the deck. Show them what we got here. All right guys, I just cut it. These are the ones I've cut so far. And this is how it should work. It should slide right into place. Right there. And anytime you're doing a deck, watch this. You want to take a pencil, stick it in between your two deck boards. Not this way, because that'll make a half inch gap and that's just too big. You want to turn it this way to give yourself a quarter inch gap in between every board. And you got to keep doing it on every single joist. Or you'll end up with something way too big down there, too small in the center. You gotta gauge it every single joist and shoot it or screw it. And that's how you do it. We're cutting these angles here, here to here, to do it the right way. I like this guy who just runs all his stuff square and doesn't even try to angle his stuff. I mean, this is just terrible. Look at that, look at this. Look at the, the poor craftsmanship. Doesn't even angle, doesn't even try. So, let's see how we did. We cut one, one side a, a 45 degree, and one side on a 10 degree bevel. Let's see how we did here. That's how it's supposed to look, folks. Nice, perfect angles where that thing is tight. This is the end result of today. This concludes the deck, the pool, te pool deck, part one. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be on some stairs and a little walkway going from here to there. Stairs will be over here, and that's it.